And see that pain, that pain, that pain. I've been swimming up your and see that pain, that pain, crawl, that pain. I've been swimming it all, working all day long, working all night. Joe, what up, what up? This is your boy King Series, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to apply your reverb on your vocals to get a clean mix. Yeah, so I'm going to start right from the scratch. This is a song that I actually posted um um yesterday. So if you check the previous video, it's a song that I show you how I did mix it. So I'm going to start right from the scratch. How you can actually apply a reverb on your vocal so that it will sound clean, whereby you not get um you will not get your vocals being washed away by the reverb or the reverb is too much on your vocals or any way so that you get a clean sounding vocals so the first thing that you're supposed to know is applying your reverb you're supposed to know these two things first one is um is the vocal that you are, you are is the vocal that you are applying the reverb on um a singing vocals or it's a rap vocals you understand yes yeah, so if it is a singing vocals then you have to go for a different settings and if it's a rap vocals you have to go for a different settings right so this one here is for actually let me just start with the rap vocals so i'm going to create a new reverb this um project here is just singing there's no rap in it you get it so i'll just start with the rap then we will just switch back to the singing so that you get to understand how singing and the rap vocals actually um, work with the reverb so i'll start from the scratch by creating a new reverb send in cubase here so i'm not going to use the original reverb that i actually use on the vocals so let me just turn that one off or uh, let me solo it and just take that reverb off you understand so i'll just put them off here the reverb and then the day so if you listen to the song alone is this song that I'm actually talking about? Yeah, early boy KV, eh? Early boy KV, eh? Early boy KV, ain't see that pain, that pain, that pain. So this is the song or the vocal that I'm actually going to use. I want to solo everything, um, mute everything with the exception of the lead vocals. You understand? So. okay so the next thing is um, i'm going to create a new reverb send then we just apply our settings on it and i'll show you the trick um trick to apply it and every time whenever you are putting a reverb on your vocals to get a clean mix or a clean vocals so let me create the fx in so add fs track then okay the Valhalla. you are going to use the Valhalla reverb you can use any reverb of your own choice the one which actually suits you so i'm going to use this Valhalla reverb okay now we have created it right so if you listen to the vocals again it is actually dry the vocals is really dry so let me just yeah yeah early boy kv hey. Early boy KV, aye. Early boy KV, ain't see that pain, that pain. So, if you are going for a rap vocals, yes, you are putting a reverb on a rap vocals. The next, the first thing that you're supposed to know is um, you shouldn't have too much decay, yes, decay time on your um your your rap vocals. You understand? Other than that, it will be just conflicting with the vocals. Yes, it sometimes depends on, um, it's just a, a choice, but on a normal circumstances, don't try to put so much um, decay time on your rap vocals. So, you just have to set it around, let's say, around, you can let it be around 2 or at, at times 1.85 or let's say 2.21, yes, it depends. So don't put don't put too much decay time on your rap vocals. I'm not going to go so much details with the rap vocals, but when it gets to the singing, you get to understand why I'm saying that. So and don't always use um the whole reverb or just use a plate or room or chamber for the rap vocals because rap 
with so much reverb doesn't actually sound well you get it yes doesn't sound sweet or nice but it depends some rappers might actually intentionally do that but on the normal circumstances we just go for the plate or um the room or i mean the chamber or yes you don't have to go for the whole ones the big big reverb type you don't go for that ones yes then you set your pre-delay and how they calculate the pre-delay is uh, i mean sixty thousand divided by the tempo of the song then you divide it by eight or by four the one which actually suits you well then you go for it so enough of the rap vocals now let's go with the singing one the talking has been too much so the singing now um the singing you can go for plate or you can go for any of um this mode here the one which actually suits you so what i always do is um i put it on hall like this you get it then um i'll just put the decay for the singing you can set the decay to wherever you really want right but it shouldn't be too much like going above here yeah. sometimes my own is around 3 to 4 or 2.7 to 2 to like 4 but i hardly use it around for sometimes always 3 and stuff yes then let me just apply it on it then i'll just show you a trick that will make your vocal sound clean and let me put my reverb down here so the third one now whenever i'm applying it i make sure that it is way up here zero zero then i adjust it together with the beat and everything for it to sound better but before i will adjust it what i do is um you have to use your eq to cut the low ends yes there are some eq on the reverb itself not all uh, reverb has eq you can use this eq to control do those ones but for um for this ones i would like you to actually just go to the reverb itself and you can put eq under it to, to clear those low ends and the high ends of the reverb or you can just do it directly here because this is an eq you can see it we have our channel strip and uh, our eq so there is an eq here so you can just come here and do that i will put it on it then after that i will take it off and come and use this side here then after that we see how everything is going to sound at the end just be with me don't go away okay so let me put the this eq on it the far filter pro three eq you can just use any eq of your own choice so i'll cut the low ends and the high ends so now let's play the vocals and i will adjust it for you to see so Working all day long, working all night long. And yami pese me nam nam mi tong. Tiro ni chingong. Kaya yin tini ene so mi kong. Pese ni ma fong. Oni no de yin si ene me da kong. So listen to it very well. With the EQ on it, you can actually hear that um, the vocals is actually coming out loud well. And the reverb is happening at the back of it. And yeah, you can hear the vocals. So I'll just bypass this one and you see. The difference now after that we just go into the okay so let's listen and see Working all day long, working all night long. And yami pese me nam nam mi tong. Tiro ni chingong. Kaya yin tini ene. So you can hear the difference. The difference is clear. You can just hear the difference now. When the EQ is actually activated, you hear the vocals really in front of your face and the reverb happening around it or behind it. You get it. But when the EQ is um, bypassed, then you are just hearing only the reverb and the vocals sounding together inside right so let me just take if you don't want to put eq on it like this you can also put um you can just use the eq here somebody might say i don't have this eq or you want to use exactly my eq you can also use the stock one over here the one which is actually here so this is activated already so you just have to activate this one and activate this one so what you do is you just clean the high ends 
like this so let me just play the vocals and do that for you guys to see and so me and see the pain the pain the pain been swimming up your and see the pain the pain crawl the pain I mean so many to Working all day long, working all night long. And I'm a person, me nam nam me tom. Till you need ching on. Kaya yin tini and I saw me come. Pese ne ma fong. Oni no day yin si ene me da kom. Me no saw ni john. Mo me ti fear we try me. Kwa mi ye ye bash with me. O se yin kwa ya wan tin su shi yi para win ya man me. Mo me ti fear we try me. Hee hee. Ain't see the pain. The pain. The pain, I miss a million blow into the pain. The pain crawl, the pain, I miss a million. So you can hear how clean the vocals sound using this ones too. So always put your EQ there. Then after that, we just go ahead and adjust our um, reverb time, um, the number, the amount of reverb that we want to um, add to the vocals. You understand? Yeah, we just go to the group there and. We just see how clear the vocals is going to sound without the reverb actually disturbing us. So far as we have actually used the EQ to cut those low ends. So let's listen. Ain't see the pain, the pain, the pain. I been swimming up yo. Ain't see the pain, the pain crawl, the pain. I been swimming it yo. Working all day long, working all night. So let's go to the reverb and let's activate and deactivate the EQ there and let's see the result, how it's going to sound um, with the amount that we have actually applied on the vocals. So I've deactivated the EQ, then I'll activate it for you guys to see the difference now. Ain't see the pain, the pain, the pain. Miss a million people in see the pain, the pain crawl, the pain. I miss a million working all day long, working all night long. And yummy person, me nam nam me tom, till you need ching on. Kaya yin tini and I saw me con, because I need my phone. So clean and it's sounding nice, right? So let me put the beat together with it, then I'll just bypass it and everything. So we just see how. The reverb is going to sound together with the beat and everything man. i'll also activate and deactivate the eq for you to check the difference just practice with it and you get to understand what i'm talking about so let's listen to it and without <laughs> Been so many to working all day long, working all night long, and yummy person, and I'm not me tongue, till you need to go. Kaya ain't in it, and I saw me come, because I need my phone, and you know, they ain't in the med that come, and your son, me John, more me to fear, me to me. You can hear um, the vocals uh, clear whenever the EQ is act actually activated, but whenever it's deactivated, you see how. The sound really big inside the mix as in um, the vocals is really behind the beat and stuff so just practice with it and see how everything goes so i hope you learned a lot from this video here make sure you subscribe thumbs up and also share to your fans so this is your boy king series yes and i'm out